Hello everybody, how are you all doing? We are jumping back into the great one red deer grind uh, Hopefully we can end up finding it today. I did about three hours of grinding yesterday so I'm hoping that we'll have some good respawns. I unfortunately did not have the greatest luck during that three-hour grind yesterday So uh, hopefully things will turn around today, but uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how things go But anyway, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing great. Hey, Spray Bottle, Duxton, Evan, Blake, uh, Nox, Frantic, Mr. Two, Habs, Tristan, Blakey, Drayden, uh, Romeo, Freddy, Steel Shot, Carolyn, and Diffusion, Zacky. Also, how's it going, Jackson? Good to see you back. Good to see you back here on the channel. Hope you're doing good, man. Thinking about restarting Call of the Wild again? I mean, if you're, get, if you're at a point where it's uh, starting to get boring, then, I mean, you might as well. Since you do keep all your trophies, I guess there's really nothing to hold you back unless you want to keep all your money in progress, uh, unlocking the reserves and stuff. I guess that's really the only thing. That's the biggest reason why I don't ever do restarts is because I don't want to have to grind all that cash up again, to be honest. Yeah, true, Lunar. That, that probably is a good point. It probably is a good idea to wait for the new reserve to uh, to be released first. That's uh, definitely a good point. Nice. Nice, we got him. Beautiful. I'm going to assume mid-June, Jesper, because that's typically when it releases. And since it's been a couple months since an update, I imagine that they've been perfecting this one and trying to get everything uh, perfect. Uh, so I got a feeling it'll be about the, sa the same time. It'll probably be an on-time release. Uh, we'll have to see, though. I'm sure in the next couple weeks we'll end up learning more. Beautiful. All right, guys. So I got a question. Should we continue the strategy of killing everything in sight? Or... Should we go to a strategy that I used to use? And this is a strategy that I believe Jaxy Beard uh, was the first to use it, if I'm not mistaken. Essentially, what you do is you shoot all of the smallest uh, animals on your map, right? Depending on what you're grinding. Obviously, we're grinding red deer, so we'd kill all of the small ones first and leave all of the level 7s, 8s, and 9s. And then... Once most of our herd has turned into, or once most of our map has turned into level 7s, 8s, and 9s, then you kill off all of the 7s, 8s, and 9s. And in the past, that has produced some of my biggest trophies ever. My 291 whitetail deer from way back was killed using that method. And it seems to be a pretty effective one. You just kill off all the small ones until they turn into larger ones, and then take out all of the biggest ones on, like the next run or a couple runs later. I got a feeling that it might be uh, the way to do it. Because a lot of people have told me to only shoot level 7s, 8s, and 9s. But though that grinding method can work, and obviously like there's call, there's uh, Call of the Wild creators that use it a lot and it ends up working for them, I personally can't stay interested when I'm using that method because there's just not enough stuff going down. But I think if we kill everything below level 6 until they turn into larger uh, animals and then take down all the 7s, 8s, and 9s a couple runs later, I think that's going to be a way to get some good spawns as well as uh, keeping myself interested because lots of stuff is still going to be going down regardless. Nice, Lunar. Yeah, we'll see. We'll try a few different uh, strategies. Oh, gosh, it's floating. No. The worst thing ever. A floating red deer. Ah, uh, maybe, Nox. I got a feeling that we'll see something big on Tuesday. Because they did hype it up as if something pretty big is going to be shown off, so... I imagine either it's the waterfowl rework or maybe they're going to give us a first look at the map. Maybe they'll talk about like the weapon coming with it. I really am curious because there's a lot of stuff they could show off. 
Then you would have to kill Gerald? Well, we can leave Gerald. We don't have to shoot all of them. I mean, I don't even hunt all my zones, so... <laughs> Wait, what? What Discord TTV? I, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Oh, are you talking about Way of the Hunter? I didn't even know they had one. I didn't even know there was a Way of the Hunter Discord. You know what? If, if they actually do have one, I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, that guy's floating. We'll get him later. Alright, we'll leave those guys. I'm not going to worry about them. Let's just shoot all the small males. Hey, Clarence, you didn't miss anything. We pretty much just started, like, maybe 10 minutes ago. Would you rather have a sinking deer? True, that is a good point. At least they're not like the gators. Definitely seeing a lot of smokable red deer right here. Uh, that guy gets to stay, though. You know, this uh, strategy is definitely going to confuse people that have not, uh, that were not here when we talked about it, so that's going to be interesting. Come on. Give us a shot. There we go. Nice. So we got three of those. I don't don't know if there was another one I feel like I saw another one that was pretty small uh, that guy gets to chill for a couple runs then we'll take him down once we've uh, turned half of our herds into big males hey Gary how's it going what map am I on this right here is Tiabaroa All right, TDV, thank you. I will be sure to check it out. Because I definitely want to keep up to date with any info for Way of the Hunter, because that's probably the game that I'm most interested in uh, trying out this year. Definitely seems like it could be a huge contender in the hunting game market. Definitely think it could be great. Provided they do everything right. You see, you would think that, Lunar. And uh, it does kind of get harder. Like, you will notice that less and less of them are turning into big males. But it is still possible. It just does take multiple runs to get them to do what you want. But I've had it work in the past. Uh, we did it with Whitetail on Leighton Lakes a couple years ago. And it worked out pretty well. Uh, provided they haven't changed anything with the way they spawn and stuff, then we should be okay. We'll just have to kind of see how things go. Obviously, if uh, it doesn't work out the way we want it to, we can tweak it. Ah, uh, no, Lane. We have not got our fifth uh, white tail yet. We have not got it yet, unfortunately. I decided to switch to red deer just because it's been ages since we've done it. So we've just been grinding red deer recently. And I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I gotta say, I do enjoy the red deer grinding a bit more than white tail. It's a more enjoyable grind, and you make a lot more money from it as well. Sorry to hear that, Mason. Hope everything's good for you, man. What do, you, what do I think the new diamond's gonna be? Are you talking about the Great One? I don't know. I feel like the new Great One's gonna be one of the new species. But I suppose it could be a moose or something like that. However, I really do think that because this is a waterfowl update, I do think it's going to be a, a, a bird of some kind. I really feel like it's going to be a bird. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's more likely we get a moose great one since moose are on Finland? Or do you think it's more likely that we get a waterfowl great one because of the fact that it's a huge waterfowl rework update? I don't know which one uh, is more likely. Either of them could be possible. They could even throw us for a loop and make it not one of the species coming with this map. I don't know. I really don't know. I'd like to see either of them. I think it would be great just to have one. 
Moose definitely isn't my first choice, but it'd still be fun. Yeah, that's a seven, so he gets to live. Uh, that is a six, so we can take him out. That's a five. All right, so we got a five and a six to take down. Oh yeah, that would be cool, TTV. A uh, brown bear would actually be an awesome great one. We've talked about this in the past, how like a, a bear great one could be really cool uh, with a bunch of scarring and things like that on it. Could be pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Come on, man. Yes. What? Did we hit a tree? <laughs> well, I mean, he's dead, but that was weird. We had to have hit a tree on that shot when he uh, stopped moving. That was odd. Nice, Romeo. Uh, just try not to repeat in chat. I, you gotta give me a couple minutes to read the messages. I can't see them like instantly. There's a lot of uh, different people that talk in the chat and you can't expect me to see them immediately, you know? So give me a couple seconds to reply to a message before repeating it. That would be uh, very nice. Because we try to keep the clutter down in the chat so that everybody gets a chance to say what they want to say. Yeah, it's fine, man. It's fine. It's all good. Just found a small rack level 9. Nice, Lunar. Nice. I had some weird luck with the Red Deer yesterday when I was recording. Uh, you guys will see it in tomorrow's video, but yeah, I was having some really strange luck with the Red Deer. Not sure what to think of it. It was odd. Duck could have, like, missing feathers. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be cool. Uh, I also think that if they do a Great One Duck, I'd love to see it be either a Banded Duck or a Hybrid. I think a Hybrid Duck would be really cool. Uh, TTV, 12 months as a member. Holy, that's insane. About to hit that gold badge, jeez. In fact, why why hasn't it updated to a gold badge? It should be a gold badge now. I guess uh, YouTube's like, nah, you get the gold badge later. That's crazy though, 12 months, thank you. That is absolutely insane. Oh, also... For those of you that didn't hear about this, I talked about it last stream, but YouTube is finally adding gifted subs. Currently, it's in beta, so only a few creators have access to it, but very soon, we will be able to gift subs to people in the chat. Or not subs, but memberships. Gifted memberships, that's what I meant. We're finally going to be getting gifted memberships, which is amazing. The only unfortunate things about it is you have to be a member yourself in order to gift memberships. Uh, you can't just gift them because you want to gift them. You have to be a member first. It's weird. I don't know why. And the other thing is you can only gift the first tier of memberships. So if somebody wants to gift memberships from this channel, you can only gift the uh, tier 1 99 cent memberships. You can't do tier 2 or 3 or 4. So that's a little odd too. But either way, I'm just happy that we're finally going to get gifted memberships. That's going to make it so a lot more people in the chat will get a chance to use all the awesome emotes, uh, get access to the scrapped videos I have on the channel that I have uh, for members. There's going to be a lot of cool things that will come with this. I just hope that uh, YouTube makes a few improvements to make it a little bit better. But uh, it's going to be great to see that finally being a part of YouTube. It's been a thing on Twitch for ages. And it's just nice to see it finally becoming a thing here on YouTube. I just hope that they get it out to everybody quickly. Because like I was saying, right now it's just a few select creators that have it. That's a nice mythical. That's a decent six, but it's still a six, so it's going down. There we go. Beautiful. That's a good seven, two, and another good mythical. Man, we are getting some great looking mythicals. Beautiful. Love to see it, man. The red deer are really looking good. Another big seven. And another seven. 
You know, most of these are actually going to get... Wow, I have not had this many red deer here in ages. This is crazy. Sorry, man, I had to do it. There we go. He's going down. Nice. Just call the Capricallis caterpillars instead. Yes. Oh, it's fine, Benjamin. What this is going to allow, though, is... It'll make it so that if people want to, they could gift a membership to you even. the Oh, that's the other unfortunate thing about uh, the gifted memberships feature as of now. You don't get to choose who gets the membership. It just gives it to random people that are watching the stream. So that's the other unfortunate thing about it. There's no option to directly gift it to one specific person. So I do hope they change that eventually. It would be nice if you could directly gift it to whoever you want in chat. But it's just nice to see that it's a thing. And as of now, I'm not exactly sure like which creators have access to it. I know it's just like a, a few select creators. But there are some smaller creators that did get access to it. Uh, for anybody that is a member in chat, can you tell me if it is available on here? Because I don't think it is, but I can't check because I'm not a member of my own channel. If I remember right, whenever you click on the, um, like the, the little dollar sign button under the chat, it should have a gifted memberships option if it is a thing. It's not? Okay. Didn't think that it would be here. But, you know, just in case, wanted to see... We just gotta wait for it to become a thing for us. Once it becomes a thing, I got a feeling that uh, there's gonna be a lot of green names in chat. Which is gonna be great to see. It's gonna be awesome to see all those emotes being used all the time. It's gonna be awesome. And pretty much, Johnny, pretty much. Which, I mean, you can do that on Twitch as well, but then they also give you the option to just straight up gift it to whoever, whoever you want. Hopefully, they'll be able to do that here on YouTube eventually. Hey, Tiffany, how's it going? What's my biggest red deer? It is a 269 point, I think point 10 if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. It's a pretty large one. Got an albino red deer today. Nice JLS, that's awesome. Just got a diamond mule deer on SRP. Nice LMR. When do I think the Finland map is coming out? Probably mid-June. If I were to make a guess, it's probably going to be mid-June. Because that's about the time they typically release maps. Nice. We got a couple that we can take down here. Yeah, I've played Hunting Sim 2. Not a big fan of it. I played it for a little bit, but they abandoned the game and didn't fix a lot of the issues it had. So, I stopped playing it. There we go. I think that was a good shot on the first one. I hope at least. That's a nice mythical right there. Uh, we're going to take him out in a future run. Got to take out all these small males first. For those of you that are just now joining, we're trying a different grinding method that I used a long, long time ago that actually worked out very good. Basically, what we're doing is we're killing everything below level 6. Or like level 6 and below. And then... After two or three runs, once we have got a lot of those to turn into level 7s and above, then we will take out all of the level 7s, 8s, and 9s. This has been a very effective method in the past. It got us our, our largest uh, white tail ever. So hopefully, we will have the same thing happen this time. Now, we will make one exception. We're going to leave Gerald because we named him last stream and he's kind of just been chilling here. So... Uh, we won't kill Gerald, but we'll kill all the others. But Gerald's special. He's our friend. I don't see anything else over there, though, so I think we're good. Good old Gerald. <laughs> Maybe, Johnny. That is true. It is uh, kind of crazy that they're releasing stuff this early. 
But I honestly, I think that it's just them wanting to give us a heads up about what's going on a little bit sooner. I'd feel like it, I feel like it's still going to be a mid-June release. I think they're just trying to give us information earlier so that we know what's going on and that we know things are being worked on. If I were to take a guess, that's probably what I would say they're doing. Trying to make sure that we know what's going on and that we know that stuff's on the way. Which I'm all down for it, you know? It's great to see some uh, progress reports and things like that being put up. Gerald's the man. He is. Gerald is great. Hey Mel, how's it going? You made it just in time to watch us not shoot a bunch of mythicals. We're doing a grinding method where I shoot only the smallest of the small until a lot of them have turned into level 7s and above and then we're going to kill off all of the big males. In the past this got me my 291 diamond whitetail so hoping it'll work out. This is a method that Jaxiebeard used to use a lot when the great one first came out and it worked really well. So provided they haven't changed too many things since then, it should work out really well. Yes, I am using the 300 because it kills a bit quicker. There we go. There we go. Uh, Duck Just a Duck, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Much appreciated. I uh, enjoy the green name and chat, the special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Thank you so much, and I really appreciate it. About time I got it back. Yeah, man. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Scarecrew. Um, there it is. I was going to say, where'd this guy go? There we have him. Small male level four. Yeah, pretty much, Johnny. We're killing all the small males first. We're, we're knocking these uh, bad genetics out of our herds, you know? Nice, Mel. That's awesome. You know, I need to revisit uh, Classics Duck Hunting before Finland comes out so I can get a, a bit of a feel for it uh, compared to what the new Duck Hunting will be like on Call of the Wild. I think there's just one down here. Yeah, it should be. Oh, there he is. I think so, AE. I'm going to start grinding it very hard. Uh, yesterday, I grinded for like three hours. And I'm probably going to do the same thing today. Gerald, is that you, sir? Probably was. Nice hunting boy. That's awesome. Just spotted a nine legendary cape buffalo. Nice dude, that's awesome. Can you do this method on alligator? Uh, maybe. I haven't tried it on gators. It's been a little bit since I've hunted them. I imagine you could. Nice smell. That's awesome. And I'm ex I'm so excited for all these new birds that'll be coming to Finland. It's gonna be so cool to have like a bird focused map. There's a small male. <laughs> well, that's that's about as small as they get. I mean, they don't get any smaller than that. <laughs> oh, what a small male. I'm sorry, little buddy. You, uh, 
You may be the smallest male I've ever seen in my life, but... We're gonna take you down! Gerald's the only one that gets to survive. Ooh, that's a good mythical. That is huge right there. Then we have a six and a five. Which, uh, both of those will get taken down. There we go. Oh my gosh, there's more. Dude, there's, there's so many. This area was actually just completely stuffed with stags, and they're all good size as well. Well, except the two that we shot. Who is Gerald? Uh, we decided to leave a really small stag alive, and we gave him a name. I asked everybody uh, a couple streams ago if we should leave one alive and just give him a name, and uh, pretty much everybody wanted us to do it, so we left one of them alive, and we gave him a name. Okay, I've got a female over here now. Interesting. One, two. Okay, that guy gets to live. There's two we can shoot, though. All right, perfect. And Gerald is a small male level three. What's the route I take for the grind? Uh, it's in my Red Deer Great One grinding video. It's uh, pretty simple. I hunt a couple zones along this river. Then I hunt this lake. Then this lake, this lake, this lake, this lake, and down here on this river. I think we shot one more, but I don't know if we got it good. I'm gonna say no. It, it looks like we didn't even hit it, to be honest. Tell him to scare some crows. <laughs> uh, will do. Uh, tell Flinter to go find a 400 non-tip mule deer before me. Let's see if he can beat me this time. <laughs> He's the biggest in all of our hearts. He is. Gerald is the real king. Gerald is the king of small males. You know, in his eyes, he's a diamond. And in our eyes, he's a great one. Oh, that'd be cool, Chris. That'd be really cool. Gerald merch? Probably not. Uh, I don't know. Merch isn't really my thing. But anyway, how's it going, Kyla? Hope you're doing good. Look at that small male. What a beauty. The smallest of the males. Oh, there's the other one. I believe we named this one TK, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's TK over there. Only Gerald and TK get to live. Uh, we should name the smallest male we find Flinter. If I find a level 2, I'm naming it Flinter. Oh yeah, I could imagine, Kyla. I'm sure he's burned out of Classic after all that grinding. Probably Drayden. Old small boy Flinter indeed. We gotta name all the small males Flinter. What's my biggest animal in this game? Um, I mean, they're all scored differently, so it's kind of hard to say what the biggest is. 
Is a level one male possible? I haven't seen one personally, but I know level twos are possible. I think it might be possible to get a level one black bear male, but I could be wrong on that as well. I can't remember. I think, I think there is a possibility of a level one male bear, but not with red deer. All right, good old Tiawaroa Rain. I uh, yes, I did find a level one male fox a while back. I think at least it was either a one or a two. One of those. All right, Sam. Later, man. Oh, got you, Johnny. Okay. I actually had completely forgot that they used to be able to be level one. If you find two level two red deer, then name one turkey and one flinter. All right. Well, we'll do it if we manage to find two level twos. It'll be very difficult, but... I think maybe we'll be able to do it. I mean, we got a decent amount of time before the map releases, most likely, so... We got probably around a month. Although, I don't know if they're... I'm assuming they're going to do early access as well, so I probably don't have a month. It's hard to say. I guess we'll find out. I'm actually really curious uh, when they'll do an early access for Finland. Since they released the trailer, like, way earlier than normal, I don't know, like, what's going to happen as far as, like, scheduling goes for things. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Okay, we can actually take out all except that one. So we got three to blast away at. Nice. Yeah, Kyla. Well, I think... From what I was reading in the requirements for uh, the creator program, I think you have to be the partner tier. If I'm not mistaken, I think you have to be the partner tier. So uh, once Mel hits the partner tier, then she'll definitely be getting the early access. I think you're really close, right? Like, aren't you super, super close? If I remember it, I think I remember you saying that you're very close. <laughs> yeah, Drayden. That's what we do. We slaughter the red deer and the red deer, they give us great ones. Or not. Like, we never get any. The great one red deer never show up for us. They don't like us. Probably because we've shot so many of their brethren. Gotcha, Mel. Okay. I think you'll make it before then. I mean, we've still got like, what? Probably a month? I think you can get there. All right, that is another small male. Boop. Boop. Bop. And boop. Sometimes you got to boop them and bop them. And I just see over here. Nope, nothing there. Okay. It needs 410. Well, that's definitely possible then. That's definitely possible. Especially with all the hype of the new map. Uh, as long as you're posting updates on all the news and like different stuff they reveal, then I think you'll get there. I think you should easily get there. Well, 
Where did this guy go? How how far did he run? Little sick, but a red deer great one can make me better. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll find one then. Hopefully we'll find one so that you can uh, get better. Yeah, we could do that, uh, Kyla. I don't know how much it's gonna do though, because I've already, I've already posted a couple of Mel's great one videos in the past. So we'll see if there's anybody new that may have, that may not know about, uh, about you. If I could ever get my YouTube to load, that'd be fantastic. Thank you, YouTube. Oh nope, still. Oh there, there we go. Finally loaded. Ten years later. I swear, like, one of these days I'm going to need to, like, I'm definitely going to need to upgrade my rig a bit soon. Because, like, whenever I'm streaming and trying to, like, open stuff, it's very slow. Taking ages. Which is really unfortunate. All right, let's see. And So hello there guys. What the? Really? My microphone muted itself. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. 
I have been talking for like two or three minutes asking if the stream is back up. Oh, I swear to God, my PC hates me today. Like this is actually the worst. So basically what happened was I opened up the two tabs to copy the link to your great one video mail. And then I opened up the page to paste it. It crashed OBS. Um, I clicked continue streaming in the background so it wouldn't end the stream. Relaunched it. And when I relaunched it, it had me muted. And then, yeah, apparently I've been talking to myself for the last two minutes now. I swear to God, I need to get a new PC. Like... My CPU, I feel, has reached the end of its days, and at this point, I can't, I can't stream and record, or not record, but I can't stream and play at the same time without getting excessive lag on everything else I do. I really feel like I'm going to have to start doing, like, a dual PC setup. You know, I've got the laptop, so I might as well, I might as well try streaming off the laptop while I record off my or while I play off the PC and use the capture card to transfer it over. I mean that's what a lot of the a lot of streamers do nowadays. So I feel like I might just start doing that. Because since I've got the laptop I might as well take advantage of that and use it. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. And now we're out of time for picking these up as well. Tis a flantro. I think it is. That looks like a flantro. Uh, just so you know, Flinter, we're, we're trying to find a level 2 uh, red deer so that we can leave it alive and name it Flinter. We're going to name the first level 2 red deer we see Flinter and just kind of keep it as a trophy on the map. He can uh, live in harmony with TK and Gerald. <laughs> We've got Gerald, and then we got TK, a uh, very small level threes, and then we got to find a level two so we can name it Flinter or Flantro or Flounder or or uh, Flip Flap or something like that. <laughs> the ultimate roast? Eh, I, I wouldn't call it a roast. I'd I'd just say that it's uh it's it's an honor. You get to be a part of my map forever, and Un until the reset happens with this next update. But you know. That's, that's, that's long enough, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Johnny. Until then, then we'll murder them all. Alright, that guy gets to live because he's a nice seven. That's good to see we got a seven respawn. When's Finland coming out? Uh, nobody knows. Probably mid-June like always. Them not then. <laughs> hey, it happens. Those typos. They be getting ya. Oh, no worries, Clarence. Uh, welcome back. My boy, Gerald. Yes, we got good old Gerald on the map just chilling. Uh, we got a couple small males we can take out. Oh, man, I can't spot that guy. I think that's the big mythical, so he gets to live. Oh gosh, the smoke from the 300. Where, where is everything? Why is it smoking so much? I feel like that's not normal. You can barely see anything through it. There we go. Nice. Yeah, Gerald's got all the tips, dude. I'll be sure to do that. But uh, later, Flinter. Appreciate you dropping by. And enduring the roasting. While dishing out the roasting. Reload that one gun? What if I don't want to? I'm gonna leave it unloaded. You think the trailer for the new map will come out this week? Maybe. 
Uh, to be honest, I think it'll be... I think they'll show off a feature first. I feel like this uh, coming Tuesday will be some type of feature. And then I think that... I think the following week will be the full trailer. That would be my guess. We'll get like a feature showed off on a Tuesday and then the following week will probably be the full trailer if I were to take a guess. Because they just showed the teaser, so I don't think they'd do the full trailer quite yet. I mean, they could throw us for a loop though. Maybe they will surprise me and do the trailer next. If they do the trailer next, then I imagine the map's probably closer than we think. Where's this last one? Uh, he probably ran a ways. Let's see if Hunter can find it. Where is it, Hunter? Show me. Oh, is that blood? Nope. Where is the blood? Uh, I don't actually even see a mark on the map, so... Maybe we already picked it up. Did I pick up three and not realize it? Huh. Maybe we did. Or maybe I missed one of them. You know, I think we actually missed one. It's looking like we did. Unfortunate. Oh, they did, Johnny? Hmm. Maybe then. I guess my thought process is because they showed it earlier than normal that it'll be later, but... Maybe you're right. Maybe we will. And maybe the map will actually release early June. That'd be cool. Yeah, Kyla, for sure. Man, I'm excited. I cannot wait to see what they've got in store for Tuesday. Because I am eager to see more about this map. I cannot wait to see uh, more stuff shown off. Because it seems like it's going to be a really good one. Okay, there's a seven. Okay, we need to take out that six. That seven can live. Hold on, before we uh, before we shoot it with the 308, let's take a look at the beautiful zero ammo. There we go. I know for some of you, it is triggering you guys like crazy. Don't worry, we will reload it eventually. We'll reload this one, though. It, it can get the reload. <laughs> yes, pretty much. I, I I would imagine that having a dog mod a channel would probably result in a lot of uh, unnecessary bans, for sure. That just seems like it would be uh, the, the first thing that would happen. Just hope this map hold, can hold my internet for more than a week, unlike Mississippi. Oh, hold my interest, gotcha. Yeah. Mississippi was back and forth for me. I enjoyed it the first month, and then for like a month or two, I just completely stopped playing it because there was nothing to do on it. And recently after the last update with the ARs, it's kind of regained my interest because they moved around a lot of the feed zones, and they actually are pretty good now. Like, this stuff makes sense now, at least. Like, you see Whitetail feeding out in the fields and in the cornfields, which is awesome. So it has kind of regained my interest with some of the stuff they moved around, but it's still not perfect. Like, the map is definitely lacking in a couple ways. I still feel like changing the class of raccoons was a bad idea. But... It is what it is. I definitely passed up this red deer. I got so focused on uh, reading chat that I completely passed up this red deer. There we go. Ah, uh, not really, Blake. You have not missed much at all. 
All right, guys, here we go. We'll do it. We'll reload it so it'll stop driving everybody crazy. There we go. We are reloaded. Level 7, level 7, level 8. We got any small males that we can take out? Nope, just big males here. I think this will probably be the last run where we just shoot the small males. And then we'll go through and shoot all the big males. Uh, no, Jonathan. You'll still have, like, all your lodges and stuff found. It's just gonna be need zones that you'll have to d rediscover. The need zones will be different than what they currently are. Oof, beautiful mythical. You know, it's so good to see that a lot of these uh, are turning into big males. Okay, we got that six to take down. Um, there's like nothing over here. Interesting. Very interesting. So I guess it's just that one. Oh, and that three. Wait, is that Gerald? Did Gerald somehow end up there? I think he did. I'm not going to shoot that just in case it is Gerald. <laughs> oh, there's another. We got it. Nice. Random shot. Will it work? How did Gerald get up there? He moved to like a completely opposite side of the lake. Yeah, because that's a five, that's a six. Oh, there's Jer. <laughs> so that's a new one. <laughs> Never mind. I thought that was Gerald. Looks like he got himself a friend. That's a big male there. Let's go ahead and... Boop. Boop. What do we name him? Oh, I'm probably going to kill that one. We've got enough level threes on the map. I'm only going to save another one if it's a level two. The only thing that we'll save from now on is level twos. Because I don't want to have too many of them on the map, you know. We'll have a few, but the more that I leave, the, the less we'll have to respawn. So we're just going to keep it to a couple. Uh, that one's definitely not going to die anytime soon. There we go. So that other one's definitely going to run quite a ways. I'm not even going to worry about claiming it, to be honest. It probably has ran incredibly far. Yeah, exactly, Drayden. We got to limit ourselves a little bit, or else we're just never going to have anything to shoot. Flinters is also a big nerd. I, I agree. Very, very true statement. He's a nerd just like us. We're all nerds here. Let's be honest. Each and every one of us. But we're the best kind of nerd. We're hunting nerds. Goodbye, big male. Nice, Mel. Hopefully you get a big male. Get it. Get yourself a, a mega duck. Uh, didn't we shoot two? I, I feel like we shot two over here, but I don't see tracks from another one. Weird. Imagine not being a nerd. I know, right? Where is this other one? Was it closer to over here? Dude, I swear like some of these are just disappearing. 
This is the second time this run where seemingly one is just... Oh. Did it float? Did, did it maybe float? It, it floated. Okay, that explains it then. I was gonna say, that's really strange. And it did float. It did indeed float. I don't know, Turkey. If I remember to, then yeah, but... Uh, to be honest, like, I've just been completely forgetting that raiding is even a thing on YouTube because it's so poorly done. I've kind of just been waiting until they simplify it a bit, because right now it, it takes forever to get it to work. It's unfortunate, but I'm hoping that they'll uh, make it a bit better soon. And now we wait for the float deer. Yes, exactly, Johnny, the float deer. Is this like the, the budget version of float goat? The float deer? Hey, Joshua, how's it going, man? I don't know if I said hi or not. If I didn't say hi, then, uh, hi. How's it going? Ah, oh, dude, this is beautiful. Okay, so these are both level 7s now. That's a great sign. We're definitely getting some of these to turn into larger ones. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, do you see the estimate on that giant stag? 264 to 310 on the estimate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you know what? Because of this method that we're doing right now, I can't shoot this until next run. This is our last run of shooting all of the smallest stags. We gotta shoot this guy on the next run. So yeah, we're gonna have to let him chill for a second. This could be a 270 stag. You guys are completely correct. This could be a 270. With as huge as that is. But we do have to kill it next run. I don't want to throw off the uh, pattern that we've been doing. We got to make sure that we kill all of these small males on this run. And then the next run, we will take out all of these sevens, eights, and nines. So we are going to have to let this guy chill for a moment. And instead, take out that guy. Look at that giant. This guy is the real trophy. And then, like, all these other ones have turned into sevens and eights, which is awesome. Oh, man, this is the first time I've ever done this where I just kind of, like, have to wait till the next run to take one out. But I don't want to throw off this, uh, grinding method. If I shoot that level 9, that's going to toss it into the respawn pool. And I don't want to throw off this, uh, grinding that we've been doing. For those of you that are just joining, basically what we're doing is for two runs, we're shooting all of the level 4s, 5s, 6s, uh, threes, like all the small males. And then we're trying to get a bunch of them to turn into level sevens, eights, and nines. And we definitely got one to turn into a nine, which I guess further shows that you don't have to shoot only the big ones to get something big to spawn. We just got that to spawn off of just shooting level sixes and below. So that right there just shows you that you don't have to shoot only the big ones to get diamonds. However, this method that we're doing right now has worked very well for me in the past, so... Hopefully we can get something else crazy on this next run. Imagine if we get another one to spawn from this run, or if we get a great one to spawn. Because this next run is going to be crazy. I think we're going to have over 20 level 7s, 8s, and a 9. It's going to be pretty wild. This is about to be one of the wildest runs we have ever had. Uh, do we have anything over here? Okay, that is TK. He gets to live. Um, there's that level 6. Boop! Booping Red Deer is the best. Gotta love it. Or a Mela 9. A Mela 9 would be crazy. Uh, not gonna lie, I'd be more happy with that than I would a great one. I'd be way more happy with that. 
Oh, there's one that's a female. That's a seven. Uh, honestly, I think that was the only level six. Yeah, these lakes are looking good. Ooh, unfortunate, Kyla. At least it's a nine, though, right? Like, at least that'll be a diamond. Most likely. Guys, I'm still blown away at the size of that red deer. That thing looks huge. Got a 271.60 diamond whitetail. Nice, Cameron. That's awesome. That's a big one. Shoot it in the head. I think we'll uh, pass on that. I mean, I'm going to uh, Turkey. We're just doing it on the next run because I don't want to throw off the, the rhythm of the grind. We've got a good groove going. I don't want to throw it off. But yeah, we will be shooting it with a 308. I'm not going to take a million years to get it with a bow. We are just going to shoot it with the 308. All right, let's see the last uh, place we visited this run. We've got one. Uh, just one? That's weird. Well, I guess we're going to take him out then. You know, honestly, I think this might be the grinding method I just stick with. It, it seems to be working just as well as it did back when the Great One first released. I got my largest ever whitetail using this method. Imagine if we now get the largest red deer using this method as well. If we do, I think that will pretty much solidify this as a great grinding method. I'm really excited to see how this is going to go. Uh, let's go ahead and reset the time real quickly. Drop that down and then we'll hit the main menu as well. Real quickly, main menu it so we can get all of them back to their zones and any of the ones that we forgot to pick up will get their respawns as well. Hey, Viper, how's it going, man? Uh, we're going to be taking down a pretty massive level 9 soon. We're doing a new grinding method. Well, it's not really a new grinding method. I used this a couple years ago when I first started grinding the Whitetail Great one. And it's also a method that Jaxybeard has used in the past, but... Essentially, what we're doing is we're killing everything below level 6. Like, levels 3, 4, 5, and 6 we're killing off until we get bigger stuff to spawn. And then, like, two runs later or so, we kill off everything that's level 7, 8, or 9. And we got a really giant level 9 to spawn off of killing all the small deer. So, we've got a pretty massive stag to take out very shortly. That is a level 4, so he does not get shot this time. Um... Yeah, he's not a rare either. Oof, that stutter though. Okay, these ones are running along. That's a seven. We got it. Ooh, and a seven again. Nice. Okay. Man, this is looking good. I'm seeing so many sevens and eights and nines spawned off of those small ones that we were shooting. Love to see it, man. That is awesome. All right, let's try to get him. There we go. Two big males down. Can't find any great ones. Been playing the game for like three years. Well, I mean, are you grinding for them? Or are you just kind of hoping to find one? Because if you're not like actively grinding for them, there's a good chance you'll never see one. It's definitely not one of those trophies that just shows up in most cases. You are grinding? Okay. Um, how many have you killed, roughly? How many would you say you've killed? <laughs> yeah, turkey. <laughs> Do it, Kyla. Try it out. 
it'll be good to have more people trying it out so I can get a better idea of if it actually is, uh, if there actually is anything to it, because, I mean, the way it's looking, it seems like there is something to it. With me getting my 290s whitetail off of it when the great one first released, and now we've got one of our biggest uh, stags off of it as well, and so many level 7s and 8s. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's take these out. We can finally get to take out the 7 and 8. Actually, that 7's new this run. That 8 has been here for a little bit, but that 7 is new. Welcome back, Benjamin. Yeah, I'm doing roughly two runs of six and below, but I'm, I'm kind of basing it off of how fast I get them to turn into sevens, eights, and nines. So if you do two runs where you're just killing six and below and you're not getting many of them turning into sevens and eights, I'd maybe go a run or two more. What I'm trying to do is getting at least half of what I've been killing to come back as a seven or higher. So it's not necessarily always two runs, but it seems like this time we only needed two because most of them have turned into sevens and above. But yeah, you might need to switch it up a little bit depending on how quickly you find them. But let me know how it works for you. I'm really curious. Hey, Timmy, how's it going, man? What great one is the easiest to grind for? Probably Red Deer. I say Red Deer on Tiawaro, like we're doing right now, is probably the easiest. Uh, second easiest would be the great one Whitetail on Rancho. And then third easiest is probably great one Red Deer on Quattro, I'd say. Dude, really? Really? Are you kidding me? They, they just kept doubling back and hitting me. <laughs> really? And I hit the wrong key. I was trying to pull out my med kit, and I pulled out my collar instead, so that went great. Dude, really? Like... <laughs> Those hinds were targeting me. Like, I'm... I'm a little scared for my life now. I feel like if I go up there to claim this mythical, they're all just gonna charge at me. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I don't think I've ever had a hind do that to me before. I was straight up being targeted there. Oh, it took me a little bit too, Mel. It took me a bit too. If I remember right, it's N? Isn't it N? If I remember right, you just have to have the collars on you and then it should work. But yeah, I had to look it up too as well when I was doing it. Method's working for me. Nice, Nox. Nice. Good to hear. Devin, thank you for the super sticker. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Hope your day's been going great. And thank you for the support. 218, not bad. Alright, now we had a couple over here that were good, so let's take those out. Hey, Kevin, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. Uh, my next stream will be, I believe, tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, it'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow between the hours of 2 and 3 p.m. PST. Hey, big game hunter. Hey, country boys, you haven't missed too much. We spotted a giant level 9, and we're going to take him out this run. So you actually arrived just in time. If you hang out for, like, probably 10 more minutes, you'll see us taking out that giant level 9. There's a big 7. There should be an 8 here. I remember seeing an 8, I think. Oh, maybe it was a 7, actually. I think it actually was a 7. So we've got two big 7s to take out. And I believe that's all. On this lake, at least. Big male. Oh, there's another. So we got a couple small ones over there. Uh, we're not going to take those out, though. Finally got the great one red deer yesterday. Was so happy. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations. 
quite the accomplishment. Alright, so that's just two small males. And not gonna lie, this is a very satisfying method to use. Like, you have a couple runs that are kind of boring, you know, you're just taking out small stuff. But then you get, like, a couple runs where you're taking out all these uh, giant level 7s, 8s, and 9s. It's pretty great. I like it. It's fun. It certainly is satisfying to see nothing but big males for a few runs. Uh, Devin, thank you for another super sticker. Really appreciate the support, and I hope your day is going great. Really appreciate it, dude. Been tasked with doing a realistic animal in my art class. Currently grinding fallow deer, so I'm killing two birds with one stone. Basing the project off an animal I'm seeing a lot of. Nice bridge, that's perfect. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. Yeah, guys, let's get some hype in chat for Devin. Do it, Johnny. Let me know how it works. Because this method does seem to be pretty effective from what we're seeing. I mean, you can see all these giant males that we've managed to uh, spawn off of it. Oh, gosh, it's so nice to see. Look at all these <laughs> And that. <laughs> and that, but look at this. I've never seen this many sevens and eights, like, clustered. Oh, it's so good to see. That is just a beautiful sight. Is this game worth buying? I like it a lot, Wild Hunter. And there's actually going to be a very huge update coming out in a month or so that is going to completely overhaul the waterfowl system to make it extremely realistic. So, this is probably the best time to get in the game. And around the time of this release for the new update, there most likely will be some sales on PC. I don't know about on consoles, but PCs typically have sales around the release of new stuff. Did we get vitals on all these? No, we didn't. I mean, we don't have to hit them good, but it'd be nice to so that I don't have to run all the way up there to claim them. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the nine's at a different lake. I know, right? Joshua, it's wild. Billy Bob Joe. <laughs> Thanks, Wild Hunter. Appreciate it, man. Shoes the deers? We're trying. We're trying to shoes the deers. The deers did not want to get shoes did, though. Hey, DK, how's it going, man? Uh, you missed us finding an absolute giant stag. Uh, we're going to take it out this run. It has a minimum estimate of 264, so it's a guaranteed diamond, and it looks to be one of the biggest ones we've ever found. So I'm pretty excited to be taking him out shortly. But first, we got to take out a few that were over here. And why am I walking when I have a tent right there? Thank you, Devin. Just at 1.5k kills with six diamonds and two rares. You know, I feel like you're going to be getting something huge soon, Lunar. If there's anything I've learned from uh, grinding here on Tiabaroa, if you have a bad luck streak, there's usually a pretty good luck streak following shortly after. There's one of the nice mythicals. Let's see what else we can uh, pick up real quick. Non-vitals. That's not good. Yeah, we had some poor shooting there. Not going to lie. I whiffed a few shots. It happens, though. A little unfortunate that I whiffed when there was that many giants. But hopefully we can at least track them down and get them. I don't even know if we got that level 7 good. It looks like this level 8 was hit in the non-vitals. 
So it'll go down somewhat quick at least, but um, where's where's the fresh tracks from it actually? Show me, Hunter. Where is it? Where is it, buddy? That way? Okay. Guess it's that way. Hey, Hector, how's it going? Uh, you missed us finding one of the biggest red deer I've ever seen. We're going to be shooting it very shortly. Spine shots it? Yeah, that'd be my luck. That would be my luck. Okay, this is a different one it's chasing after. So, I actually don't know which one Hunter's chasing after. Oh, this actually might be the big one. This actually might be our eight. Where is it? I just saw a spotting. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the small male. This guy gets to live. Uh, what do you mean, Watermelon Gaming? Hunt Club Beta is not a thing. They disabled it a long time ago. Let me guess, you uh, saw something saying you have to turn it off to get a great one, which isn't true, by the way. Two thirty-one. What a beauty. Now let's go find the other one since Hunter decided to take us to this guy instead. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that, Watermelon Gaming. They, they've confirmed a while back that that doesn't do anything. There was just a lot of rumors that went around for a while, and uh, I'll admit, even I believed it for a bit, but the more I played, the more I've realized that it wasn't actually anything. It was a placebo effect where, because we were thinking that it was going to do something, it made us think that it was actually working. When in reality, it, it doesn't affect anything. Hunt Club Beta, they disabled end of last year. And instead replaced it with Apex Connect. And if I remember right, I think they're reworking Hunt Club Beta to make it better. But as of now, it's not in the game. Get anything good yet? Uh, we actually are about to shoot a really giant sag. Oh, of course, Joshua. Of course. Even if I did mess it up, it would still go in a video. I don't uh, leave stuff out of videos just because I mess it up. Yeah, that would be cool, Johnny. I do miss the Hunt Club beta missions. But I got a feeling that since they uh, have brought it down to rework it, I feel like it'll be even better once they bring it back. Okay, neither of those are going to get shot on this run. Or that guy. So I found all the small males. <laughs> and that... The, the small males are everywhere. There was a mythical over here, though. I don't know where he went. Guess he's not here this run. We'll probably have to do a second run through to find any of them that we miss. Because sometimes there are ones that arrive late. So we'll have to run through a second time. Uh, they used to, Bobby. They used to. Uh, that's what the Hunt Club beta was for the longest time, is they'd have missions every day and every week. They'd have, like, a weekly missions and daily missions, and then uh, after a while, they got rid of it because it was causing a lot of bugginess and weird stuff with crashes and things like that. So eventually they got rid of it, and they're trying to rework it to make it better. Eventually we'll get it back. Alright, this lake has nothing that we can shoot as of now. It's time to take out that nine. Let's do it, guys. Let's take that nine out. Yeah, that's a big seven. Another seven.
Uh, not the best shots. Maybe we can recover it. Oh, not if it keeps zigzagging and stopping. Oh my gosh, this dude. This dude right here. Stop it. Oh my gosh. He stopped at the worst time. <laughs> I swear, every time I say stop it, they stop at like a split second before I actually need them to. That's a six. He gets to live. Where's that big nine? We know he's going to be throughout this area. Now we just got to figure out where he moved to. He could even be over here, to be honest. There's the mythical. Seven. Seven. All right, so the nine's not here yet. I'm going to assume that he's probably late or he moved to a different part of the lake. Because that does happen from time to time. But I'm going to assume that he's probably just late. So let's go ahead and take out these over here. Because that is a pretty big one. Uh, no, you don't have to have all your zones to uh, find a great one. You do not have to have all of them. The only reason for finding all your zones is just to check if you've got an initial spawn great one or a like initial spawn diamond. There's no there's nothing that'll prevent you from getting a great one just because you don't have all your zones. It just simply is not a thing. I don't have all my zones on any of my maps. Or any of the species that I grind for great ones. So yeah, it's it's not something you need to have. It's mainly just to make sure you don't have any initial spawns. Alright, it looks like we got both of those vitally. The nine has gone dead. Oh no, he's here. He's fine. There's no such thing as despawning in Call of the Wild. Once it's on your map, it's on your map till you kill it. The only thing that I guess would be considered despawning would just be population resets whenever EW changes things in the maps. But he's still here. He's fine. Ah, uh, you don't, Duxton. It's not a thing anymore. They took it down to rework it. No, Turkey, it's not. Oh, wait. Wait, really? Oh. I guess they didn't completely remove it, it just doesn't work anymore. Imagine if you kill everything until you don't have anything else to kill other than hinds and nines. I mean, I guess that could be possible. It'd probably take forever, though. That would take so long. But I, I guess technically it could be possible. It would just be very difficult. I'm going to keep looking around every time we move to just to make sure that it hasn't come back. Welcome back, hunting boy. Can you play with people on a different console? Uh, no, unfortunately, it's not cross-platform. 
they've got limitations with the game itself that is preventing them from doing it. Unfortunately, because of the fact that they designed the game without crossplay, implementing it would be a very expensive and difficult task. So, as of now, they don't really have any plans to do cross platform, sadly. I'd love it if they could, but it's really seeming like it would be too difficult for them. Hopefully, one of these days that'll change, though. Because it would be a great thing to have. Where's this other one? Did he run this? I feel like he ran up here. I feel like I remember seeing him run this way. We'll see if Hunter can find it. Where is it, Hunter? Show us the way. Uh, yeah, sure, Blake. Let me know what, uh, what you wanted to know about it. I do have a Twitch prize, but I don't stream on it anymore. If you hit an animal and it doesn't kill it, what happens? Uh, it'll stay wounded until you restart your game. Once you restart your game, it will return to full health if it didn't die. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Lunar? <laughs> Sorry, I had to, I had to ask uh, Hunter a question or two, and uh, he wasn't answering. Let's also scan through this area. Okay, that's TK. That's that uh, level four. I know we dropped one of these and then the other one ran off. Where's the nine? Oh, he's probably late to his zone. It's 2018, so there's still like an hour left of their drink time, a little bit more even. Sometimes they don't arrive till the very end of their drink time. Recently started playing Call of the Wild again after not playing for about a month. So excited for Finland. What have I missed this stream? Uh, the only thing that you've missed this stream is that we're chasing down a big level 9 right now. Uh, we're just trying to get him to come back to his zone. And yeah, I'm super excited for Finland, man. It looks amazing. And also thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate the support. Hope your day has been going absolutely amazingly. There's our level seven. All right, let's check down here. There is a chance that he moved to a zone over here. Because on some occasions, they do kind of like swap zones. I've seen it happen a few times on this grind. Where if you don't shoot something, occasionally they'll just completely change the zone they're at. Oh gosh, this is beautiful. Look at all those sevens. I actually didn't even realize like how many of the level fours, fives, and sixes had turned to sevens in this zone. Like I think all of them did pretty much, except that one level six. The one lone six throwing off the, the party over here of sevens. Um, I don't know, Blake. I think you have to buy it. I think you have to buy it as a one month thing, but then you just keep it on a, a recurring payment or whatever. I believe it has an auto renewal feature, so you would just have to like cancel it after the 12th month if you wanted to do a 12 month uh, period. I don't think they actually provide like a 12 month membership. I think it's just single month memberships and then you just keep it going. If I'm uh, not mistaken, it would be cool if they could do it in 12 month periods that would be nice twitch has that option if i'm not mistaken nice chase that's awesome man yeah hopefully we do find that nine um he was kind of late to his zone the last time we saw him so i'm assuming he'll do the same this run we've been trying out a new method where we shoot nothing but level six and below for a couple of runs, and then we shoot all of the level 7s, 8s, and 9s the next run. And it's been working out really good, so I had to pass him up on the last run. And now it's time to take him out if we can find him again. 
Okay, I think we picked them all up. Let's run through a second time, make sure we haven't missed anything. Uh, maybe Wild Hunter. If he's got three great ones, then he probably knows what he's doing. Yeah, I really hope YouTube makes that a thing eventually, Kylo. That would be very, uh, very nice as just an option for the people that want it. Alright, that's a seven. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Take this guy down real quickly. Uh, sure, AE, I got you. AE's great one spawn now. Now. There, it's on your map. I promise. After not being on for a month, got a diamond pheasant the other day, so that was nice to get. Nice, dude, that's awesome. Diamond pheasant are hard to find as well. I don't see too many of them. Definitely one of the less common diamonds for me, and I've spent a lot of time chasing after them, too. But they've always seemed pretty rare. They've always seemed like a very rare diamonds. Ooh, that's a thick boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that boy thick. What a beauty. That's a really good looking stag. What's my favorite map? I like uh, Silver Ridge Peaks the best. Tiawara was my second favorite. Yeah, Mel. I think I've got three diamonds and then the melanistic. And then I do have a uh, leucistic female as well. But uh, unfortunately, I still don't have a molting diamond. I don't have a gray diamond. Still need to find both of those. Uh, no, Joshua, we have not killed it yet. We just went there and it wasn't at its zone, so I'm assuming it's going to be late to the zone. So we're running through again to try and give him some time to get there. You know, the strange thing about Call of the Wild when it comes to... I guess zones and the animals is sometimes they don't arrive at their zone at the same time they did the previous uh, run. So occasionally you do have to go to the spot multiple times to actually find it. Uh, Lukey Pro Gamer 9 thank you for becoming a member, dude. I believe you're our 150th member as well. It hasn't uh, ticked up yet, but I think you are the 150th member. Thank you so much for uh, joining the channel. Enjoy the green name and chat, the special badge icon, all the awesome emotes. Um, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube. And access to my scrap content on the channel. Much appreciated, my dude. Hope your day's been going great. Do you recommend keeping one smallish male? Um, I, I don't actually think you have to. I've just been doing it because I wanted to keep Gerald alive, but, uh... <laughs> Other than that, I, I don't think you have to, really. Hey, Flowcoat, how's it going? What a small male. There's seven there. Looks to be the only seven, though. Really curious what the respawns are going to look like next run. I mean, with this many big males going down, got a feeling we'll have some crazy stuff. Build more max weight estimate cottontail rabbits than pheasants. <laughs> Yet I got the diamond pheasant first. Oh, man, Johnny. You've had rough luck with them, though. Ow. Dude, I'm just getting beat up by these red deer today. Jeez. 
They're just absolutely wrecking me today. Also, let's see if that 8 has returned to this zone. That guy disappeared. I mean, that's a good sign. We got a big 7. And this is what I mean. Like, last run here... Uh, well, I guess technically we're still on the same run, but the last time we visited this lake during this time reset, uh, this 7 was not here. So some of them do arrive late. Small male. Where's that mythical, though? There was 100% a mythical at this lake. I remember seeing it on our last run. Thank you, we'll appreciate it, man. I haven't been posting on the TikTok recently, but I'll probably uh, try to get some stuff up on there within the next week or two. Alright, I don't know what ran past me, but something did. Can you try the 9 again? We will. We'll get there. I gotta give it time. We just checked it a little bit ago. Uh, there's a good chance that if it was there, it's probably already spooked off. Because we shot a few other things, and if it's doing the same thing it did last time, I imagine that it'll be there shortly. But we gotta give it a little bit of time, you know? You don't want to rush it and risk it just not showing up at all. Jeez, two big sevens. Good to see. Links are pretty fun to hunt. Uh, I don't really like them too much. I wish they didn't drink at night. That's always been my biggest gripe with them. Is that they drink at night. <laughs> yeah, Duxton. Uh, don't worry. I won't shoot it with the 300. I promise. Two oh eight. That's actually a solid one. Not gonna lie. Nice, Mister Untamed. Those are very rare, very hard to find. There. That's a new legendary. <laughs> that's a new one. Uh, hi. So we got another level nine. That's two level nines on our map at the same time at the same lake. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? This meth is 100% working, guys. Like, wow. This this method definitely works. We've got two level 9s at the same lake. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely going to continue using this method, I think. This is working out so well. Let's turn off our light. 0 to 300. And let's finally get this guy down. Uh, what distance is he? we got to make sure we don't mess this up. 279, perfect. So I can aim slightly low and it should hit right on the money. There we go, he's going down. And now we can get this guy as well. Ooh, dropped him. Beautiful. That is so awesome. Two level nines down within 10 seconds of each other. That's crazy. Hey Ryan, I'm doing good. Uh, what just popped up? Did I did I miss something? Uh, Lukey Pro Gamer, thank you for the super chat, dude. While you look for a great one, Red Deer, I look for Red Deer. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Hopefully you find something good, and thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. All right, let's uh tab back in, and where is it? Let's get this big mail claimed. I cannot wait any longer. We got to pick this guy up and see uh, just what he scores. I'm so interested to see if he's going to be a 270. If this is a 270 red deer, this will be one of the greatest red deer I've ever shot. Here he is. Oh my gosh, look at this absolute giant. Look at this tank of a stag. Um, I don't think it's going to be a 270. I'm going to say 268. I'm going to say 268.4. What do you guys think? What's it going to be? 
I'm calling 268.4. Let's see him. 266.70. So he's not as big as I thought, but he's still huge. That's still a giant stag regardless. What a beast. That estimate was definitely the highest estimate I've ever seen. An estimate all the way up to 310 on a stag is crazy. Never had that before. We are looking good already. I got a feeling that uh, we're on a streak. Because that's two level 9s at the same lake. Uh, typically on Tiawaroa, whenever I have multiple 9s showing up, I usually get like three between 3 and 5 of them within 150 to 200 kills. So... I got a feeling we're going to have a couple more nice nines show up. Maybe a rare even. Maybe a great one if we're lucky. Uh, no, Panda. It's not possible. Uh, if you didn't know, scoring estimates don't go off of what's possible. They just have like a specific, I guess, like number distance between the low and high estimate. And the only thing you know is that your red deer will hit somewhere in that estimate. It doesn't necessarily mean that they can reach that max estimate. The biggest red deer I've ever seen somebody kill was a 272. I've never seen them get bigger. But since there is no true, like, known max score, they could reach higher, but there's no way they can reach 300. It's just not physically possible. But anyway, let's go claim this other 9. That's still crazy we had two 9s basically side by side. Thank you, Dalton. I'm glad you enjoy the content, man. Glad you enjoy. Yeah, for me, it's kind of... I guess it averages out to that, uh, Mr. Untamed, but I don't get one every run or every other run. Uh, typically, I kill three to 400 with nothing, and then within 200 kills or so, I'll find like four or five nines. It's kind of strange the way it's always worked out for me, but I don't mind it. But here is our troll level 9, 240.40, 230 kgs on the dot, second level 9 of this run, which is crazy. Really loving uh, the way this grinding method is working out. It's working out very well. And now we go ahead and reset the time and see what this next run has in store. Oh, you did, Evan? That's crazy. Uh, was it a legacy rack or was it on the current uh, scoring? There we go. I've already done a video with uh, DD BJ. I've already done one with DD. Uh, just type in DD33 Scarecrow Hog Hunt or Feral Pig Hunt and it should bring it up. Let's hit the main menu and then jump back in. It was on the current scoring system? Interesting. That would definitely be a giant then. It must just be some massive tip-to-tip -tip spread then. Or overall spread or something. Okay, these are not here yet, so let's go over here first. How do you get so many diamonds? Uh, grinding and grinding and grinding. I mean, you're watching how we're doing it right now. But a lot of it honestly just comes down to knowing where all the animals are going to be at every time of day. A lot of it just comes down to playing the game an excessive amount and memorizing Everything that has to do with need zones and where you can find each animal at each time of day. That's uh, honestly the biggest factor. I don't really have a favorite watermelon. I try not to put favorites on like any of the creators that are in the Call of the Wild community because... No matter what I say, it's going to make some people mad. Thank you, Kyla. Let me just pin that, actually. That way, uh, everybody can not read it. <laughs> I 
How much longer is the stream? Uh, this will probably be the last run we do. Okay, so that is just a small male level six. We'll let him be. I just want to see if we got anything crazy off of this uh, run. Because we just shot two nines and a ton of level sevens and eights. There's got to be some good respawns out of that. Like, there just has to be. Really hoping to see a great one show up. That would be incredible if we could get a great one with this method. If we get a great one today, that's going to fully confirm it for me. Like, at that point, it would have to be a great method if we get a great one as well. No creator tier list in the future? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Will we get back together and play? I mean, maybe in the future. Possibly. I could totally see that happening at some point. A lot of it really just comes down to, like, organizing times to do it and our schedules. Because we have very different schedules. Probably not, Ace. June is typically the release date for new maps. It's typically mid to late June, and then we also have another one in December, usually. Alright, none of these have arrived yet. <laughs> yeah, I just do a, I do a creator tier list and everybody's in S tier. Just everybody. It's like, you're all amazing. S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. Okay, it looks like these tags are being very slow this time. None of them have arrived. At least nothing worth shooting. Nothing that we can shoot on this run, at least. Uh, no clue when the DLC comes out. I mean, you could read the pinned message and it would tell you exactly. Alright, yeah, nothing. Well, there's one, but not a shooter. There's that mythical we were looking for. Finally found him. I know, right? Who reads the pinned messages? It's totally not like they're there to be read. And if it's pinned, it's probably important. Nah. Who would pin something important? Who would ever pin useful information? That doesn't happen. Is it just the map coming out or more things? Uh, it will be more. There's going to be a waterfowl rework. And there's also going to be some new features like a weapon wheel, which basically a weapon wheel is going to make it easier to switch equipment on console, which is going to be awesome. Console players are going to be looking at a pretty uh, massive upgrade when it comes to cycling through weapons and collars and things like that. It's going to be awesome. To be honest, I don't think it does, Columbia. I feel like that would break the game too much. They've already got, like, a mess of code to work with, and... Adding more stuff on top of it, I feel, would cause more issues than anything else. That's a five. And also, I need to change my scope back. Let's get the Hyperion back onto the 308. Hey, SK, how's it going, dude? There's our mythical. 217 looking good as always. Uh, there's like what? Two more over here now? Or one more? Nice, Mr. Untamed. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. 
since they are going to be making them more difficult. I'm not going to bother with it though because I already don't enjoy Lynx hunting, so I'm just going to accept the fact that I'll never have a diamond one. Sometimes you just gotta accept it. Yeah, kind of, uh, Mel, kinda. I could definitely see that. That actually makes sense now that you mentioned it. I didn't really think of it that way, but I could definitely see that. Where is... Oh, there it is. I was about to say, where did this guy go? I don't remember where I shot it. Mess up a diamond lynx and I'll never forgive myself. Ooh, that's rough, man. Oh, that's a rough one to mess up. Yeah, I'd be pretty upset if I messed one up. I've never even got to see a level 9, though. need to make class 2 and 3 predators easier to get diamonds of ah uh, maybe yeah I could see some of them needing a bit of a change I think bobcats are in a good place though bobcats seem to be right where they should be same with coyotes actually the coyotes are pretty easy to get if you're on rancho I've seen quite a few uh, level 9s on there and I've seen flinter get a bazillion level 9s on there good 7 there Two good sevens, actually. Little level six. Will that hit? No, it won't. Uh, it's a hit, but it's not a good hit. Well, I mean, he'll go down. It's just going to take ages. Do you think Finland will be a good map? I do. I think it's going to be an awesome map. I mean, 19 species, that alone is going to make it a really good map just because there's going to be so much variety and replayability. I'm going to be able to grind that map for ages probably and still not have everything on it. It's definitely going to be a map that I can grind for a few months to get all the diamonds and rares. And that alone has me excited for it. Because it means there will be a longer period of time where I'll be able to stay interested in the new map and all the new species. No, it's 19. There's 19 species. 19 species coming with the map. It's uh, gonna be insane. Legit the most absurd number of species we've ever seen on any Call of the Wild map. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be really crazy to see it. What do you guys think will be some of the species? I know we've talked about it a little bit in the past, but what type of species do you guys expect to see with this map? Oh, definitely, Duxton. It's going to be crazy to see so many species on one map. That's like a number that none of us ever would have really expected to see. Kind of crazy. That's a seven. That's a mythical. That's a beautiful mythical, too. And so is that. Well, we found a couple of our mythicals. To be honest, this six is big enough that I'll probably shoot it because that actually is borderline seven. That's borderline a level seven, so we'll take it out. Uh, it's hard to say, Watermelon. It's hard to say. I, I really need to see more of the map in order to really determine that. Whether or not it's going to be a good map for grinding Whitetail is 
purely going to depend on how easy the zones are to hunt fast. If you can hunt the zones very quickly, then it's probably going to be decent. If the zones are very brushy, then that's going to make it... That's going to dock some points. Because the things that you really want to look for for a great one grind is how quickly you can hunt every zone that you uh, have in your rotation. The thing about Rancho is I can hunt my zones so fast, but if I'm hunting on Layton, it takes a lot longer because the zones are more spread out. And you have to dedicate less tents to each area in order to cover like the same amount of zones that you would be able to on Rancho. Like on Rancho, I can hunt probably, let's see, we've got like five, five or six zones at uh, two of the lakes. And then like three zones at another lake. And then we have a couple zones at the smaller lakes. And so I can just dedicate all my tents to those lakes specifically. And they end up being good. And he has three or four ducks, three geese, three or four upland birds, and the rest small, medium, and long game. <laughs> so... <sighs> Wait. I'm assuming you mean large game. What gun am I using? I'm using the uh, 300 Magnum. And yes, I know it's not uh, not ethical for them, or you don't get full score, but uh, since we're going for speed, I just use whatever will kill them quickest. Hope we get Tarm again, that would be nice. Would be good to see a ptarmigan species. Oh yeah, we'll definitely get new ducks, Houston. 100% we'll get new ducks and geese. We've already seen that there is one confirmed new goose species uh, from a picture that they showed. And it does appear to be the bean goose. From uh, the research I did, it looks, it looks almost it, exactly like the bean goose images I was seeing. So we already know we're getting a new goose species, and we're most likely getting new ducks as well. What great one's the easiest? Probably red deer. Neither of them are super easy, but I'd say out of the two, red deer's probably the quickest one to grind. Just because Tiabaroa is so insanely good for uh, red deer. Alright, I don't see anything too crazy here. Lots of level 5s and 6s. But uh, now that I look at the time, I think it actually is time to end the stream. So we're probably not going to finish this run. I'll continue grinding a little bit off camera though. And hopefully we can uh, seal the deal on a great one soon. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate all of you dropping by for the stream. It was nice that we got a couple level 9s to spawn side by side. That's uh, something I haven't seen happen in a very long time. So that was really cool. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we're going to get some new information about Finland very shortly. And uh, yeah, until the next one, thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I just said next one like three times in the same two sentences. Amazing.